Hey dolls and welcome back to my channel. So on today's video, I will be ranking the new foundations that I have tried. I will be ranking them from my least favorite to my most favorite and hopefully it can help you guys in figuring out which foundation is for you. So just a little background, I have oily combination skin so I have oily t-zone, dry in some other parts. I also have hyperpigmentation on the top of my cheeks and I have big pores and texture on the side of my cheeks. So I usually gravitate towards foundation that does not make me look super oily. I know that some foundations are meant to be dewy but I want to be kind of in the middle that by the end of the day I wouldn't look like a greasy mess. When it comes to coverage, I like light to medium coverage and when it comes to wearability, I expect my foundation to wear for at least 4 hours. To be honest, all of these foundations are really great. I really appreciate how a lot of them really formulated their foundation really well but I have to be really picky when it comes to ranking them because if not it'll be my top favorite and then everyone else will be ranked the same. So let's start because I have eight foundations that I have to rate. So at number eight is this NYX Bear With Me Blur Blurring Tint Foundation. This is so hyped up in social media and this is always almost sold out in my local drugstore, especially this shade, the shade Soft Beige, the shade that I am in. And I get the hype, it is lightweight, it is blurring, and it gives you a medium coverage with a soft matte finish. So on initial application, I really appreciated this foundation, but when it sets, it really sinked into my pores. And because it sets very matte, it was so hard for me to blend my cream contour and my cream blush on top of this foundation. So if you're going to use this foundation after setting it with powder, just use a powder bronzer and powder blush instead. It wears pretty well though on my oily skin when I wore this. I wore this for 8 hours with a setting spray and the coverage was still there even on the 8 hour. Again, the reason it's sitting at my least favorite foundation is because by the end of the day, I can really see the pigments sinking into my pores. At number seven is the KVD Beauty Good Apple Full Coverage Transfer Proof Vegan Serum Foundation. I don't know why, but most of the new foundations that I have tried has a very long name. Like this one, Good Apple Full Coverage Transfer Proof Vegan Serum Foundation. But this foundation is sitting at number seven, not because of its long name, but because it has a lot of claims and I expected so, so much from it. An initial application, it was a little dewy and it really blurred out my pores. When it dried down, it really dried down matte and I can really see the texture on my skin, even the texture that I have not noticed before. This also claims to be full coverage and Kat Von D is known to have a really full coverage line. They are known to even cover up tattoos. But with this foundation, my hyperpigmentation keep on peeking through. Like I would pile the foundation and it would hide the hyperpigmentation but in a few minutes it will pick through again like when it dry down it doesn't keep its coverage it did even out my skin tone it hid the redness on my face but i would not say it is full coverage like the kvd foundation balm also when i started to sweat the foundation kept on moving on my face so every time i touch my face the foundation would move i think that this foundation is geared towards normal to balanced skin but i wouldn't recommend it to people with oily combination skin or people with very dry skin if you have oily skin and you want the look and finish of the kvd foundation i would recommend using the fenty pro filter foundation instead so number six on the list is the house lab triclone foundation i know that this is a shocker for most people. A lot of people really, really love this house lab foundation. And on initial application, I really, really love this foundation as well. It really gave me a glowy natural base and the shade really adapted to my skin tone. But the reason it's sitting at number six is that it really highlighted the texture on my skin. And there's a little bit of a learning curve when I use this foundation. I have to make sure that I got the right primer for it. I have to make sure that I got the right powder for it. 
it was not an easy foundation to work with and every time I rest my finger on my face it would easily transfer I tested this foundation without a setting spray though so I don't know if this would work better with a setting spray but for my skin it just doesn't work for me and spoiler alert I returned the house that foundation immediately when I tried the makeup by Mario surreal skin foundation this gave me the same things that I love about the House Lab Foundation without having that problem that I had with the House Lab Foundation. So at number 5, I'm 50-50 about this foundation. It's the Laura Mercier Real Flawless Wayless Perfecting Foundation. Again, with a long name. I really love this foundation. It really gave me a natural look. It's very moisturizing on the face and it also registers so well on photos and on videos because it is, I think, very emollient. On the fourth hour, I saw some beads forming on the tops of my cheeks where I get very oily. And it looks like, you know, beads of sweat, but instead it's beads of oil. So I thought, okay, I am just going to put more powder on that area and that would resolve the issue. But it didn't. The more powder that I put on top of the Laura Mercier foundation, the more it looked cakey. But you can really see the separation of the foundation when I put the powder. And for my oily skin, I really have to set my foundation with powder or else it wouldn't last. So the Laura Mercier foundation did not work so well for me because of that powder issue. So because of that issue, I'm 50-50 about this foundation. I really love how it looks, but also I need to find a good powder that would really work with this foundation. So now we're moving on to my favorites. At number four is this foundation. It's the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Foundation. I know that this is a shocker because this foundation is from the drugstore, but I really love the formulation on this foundation. I find it a trend now for new foundations are adaptive foundation. What I mean by that is like House Lab, um, Makeup by Mario, Surreal Skin. Those foundations you can find two shades or three that would still suit your skin tone because it would adapt to your skin tone and this one has the same technology when i was wearing this it really looks like skin because it really adapted well to my skin tone i'm in the shade w4 by the way and i will be putting all my foundation shades on the description bar below this one did not blur my pore because this has a more natural a little dewy finish not a soft matte finish but i didn't mind it because it also did not accentuate any of my textures and pores and i love how seamless my cream products blend on top of this i also didn't have any problem with setting this foundation with powder and putting powder bronzer and blush on top of this it also wears pretty long i've worn this for eight hours with a setting spray with a drugstore setting spray actually with the makeup revolution setting spray and the coverage was still there even on the eight hour and the best part is only 16 canadian dollars so there's really nothing to lose when you get this foundation it used to be a drugstore makeup snob especially for foundation because for me of all the makeup things that i have i am very much particular with foundations and even for my bridal kit i'm very particular with foundation because i love the look of good skin more than the eye look more than the lip look on my channel i really love to test out foundation i really love to share my reviews on them because i know for a lot of people and for a lot of makeup artists base is really important but trying a lot of foundations from the drugstore really opened up my eyes to how many drugstore foundations out there are really really performing well performing as well as high-end foundation and i feel like this is one of them so if you are on a budget or you are just starting out with makeup and you love skin looking foundation skin like foundation try this out because i bet you you would love this foundation so at number three another favorite of mine sitting on number three is the same glowy super skin lightweight hydro bounce serum foundation to be honest most of the foundations that i've tried initially i like it and then by the fourth hour i'm like oh, okay 
this will not work for me. This is the opposite. When I tried this initially, it was like super dewy. It was excessively dewy for my skin, especially on my skin type because I have oily combination skin. So when I put this on, it's like, uh, this would not work for me. It is excessively dewy. But when I tried putting on my cream contours, my blush, everything blended so well on top of this foundation. And then when I set this with the right powder, which is the Estee Lauder Translucent Soft Glow Powder. These two together are amazing. This powder made this foundation last long. It also set this foundation really well without removing all that glow from this foundation. This will be suited for an everyday foundation. I don't think that this will be suited for a glam look or a special events look. But what I really like about this foundation is, first of all, I didn't have a problem with any of my creams and powders on top of this foundation. It really worked well with a lot of products. Second is that it has 85% skincare ingredients and only 15% weightless pigment. And if you think about that, you would think that it wouldn't give you a good coverage, but it actually would give you a medium coverage. I don't think it would give you full coverage, but it will give you that perfect natural skin like medium coverage and it can wear up to four hours maybe five but on the eight hour it would for sure be on the lighter coverage not on a medium coverage anymore but it's just so easy to work with and if you are someone who's always prone to breakouts because of harmful ingredients that you put on your skin i think that this would suit you and i really love how this foundation left my face feel very hydrated after you. So if you're looking for a clean foundation with good skincare ingredients, I think that you would appreciate this foundation. Second on my list is this reformulated Makeup Forever powder. This is a reformulation that I didn't know I needed. This is now in my personal makeup kit and you can see that I really use it. Like the sponge is covered with powder because I really use it on my face. It cuts my base application in half and now that it is wedding season this is what i use when i have my gig because it gives me good coverage it's like a liquid foundation and a setting powder in one because it gives you the coverage of a liquid foundation and you don't have to put a setting powder because it is already a powder it also helps in blurring out my pores and it just gives me a really good finish. Some powders will give you that heavy look. This doesn't, it looks natural on the face. And I just love it because again, it cuts my makeup routine in half. It's so easy to use. I love using it with a powder sponge that it comes with. I don't use it with any other tool, just a sponge, but I really need to clean this. If you're someone who doesn't have the luxury of time to put on a liquid foundation and a powder, but you want a medium, I think you can even go almost full coverage with this on because it is a buildable powder. So if you are looking for that, this foundation is for you. The packaging is also very slim so you can really travel easily with this. I will be traveling out of the country soon and this is what I'm going to pack with me for sure. And I forgot to mention since this is in a powder form you don't have to worry about it creasing or caking because there's no separation that will happen. It is in a powder form, so there's just one formula going onto your face, so you don't have to worry about that. So again, if you are someone always on the go or if you are planning to travel, this foundation will be a good foundation to have. And at my number one, -da -da -da. okay, I already told you about this foundation, so you might have guessed that this would be my number one. This foundation is a makeup artist's dream. And why do I say that? It's because it is the easiest foundation to work with. I use a lot of formula on top of this foundation. I use cream contour, I also use liquid blush. I tried it with a lot of different powder and it still worked on top of this foundation. I feel like because Makeup by Mario is a makeup artist. He taught a lot about how his foundation would work with other products or maybe he tried it with other products and see how it works well with those products because this 
is just so easy to work with. I didn't have any learning curve when I used this foundation. It also gave me a very natural finish. It evened out my skin tone. And although it didn't really blur out my pores, it didn't highlight any texture on my face. And it is truly flexible and adaptable to my skin tone. I tried two more shades from this foundation and it still suits me. I thought that I would need another shade because this got sold out so I only got the shade 3W and the more I wear this the more that I think that this shade is suited for my skin tone. I don't know if it's just the adaptability of this foundation but also every time I wear this I look extra beautiful. I, no not that I, I feel like I look extra extra <laughs> i don't know if you get what i mean but there will be a foundation you would find a foundation that when you try it on you're like oh my gosh my skin looks so pretty with this foundation on and so every time you have a special event or you, you want to look extra on the day you'll grab that foundation because that's your go-to this is my go-to for events and for whenever i take photos because I just feel like I look extra with this foundation on. I look like I have good skin, but I don't look like I'm wearing a lot of makeup. And it is true of all its claims. And you can cheer this out and use this for every day, or you can build it up and use it for special events. So it's very, very versatile. This foundation is just perfect for me. I really, really love this foundation by Mario. So that ends my video. I hope that you find this video helpful. If you have any questions that I didn't cover in this video, just feel free to comment down below and I would love to answer all of your questions. And even if you don't have any questions, if you just want to say hi to me, just comment down below. I'll be happy to see any comments from you guys because I am doing this video for this community and I hope that you really, really appreciate and if you do please don't forget to like this video please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll always be updated once a new video is out thank you so so much dolls again for watching and i'll see you on my next video